What's up guys, Sharky Cello here again. So this is another episode of Perfecting the Ujama. It's probably the last one for this uh, season because we're coming up to an upcoming format and yeah, they really messed up my Ujama deck really badly. <laughs> um, essentially, with these two cards going away, this going to one and this getting banned, uh, the deck is now, it's not what it used to be. You can't run the OTK anymore. You can't... Um, you know, search out your Ojamas as quickly as possible. You can't do anything, even though Warning went to one, you still can't do anything. Um, the format will still be way too fast for you to do anything. And uh, with these two cards, it just slowed down the game, especially one day of peace. It just slowed down your opponent from doing anything and allowing you to get to your combo pieces as quickly as possible. And then from there, proceed to uh, control your opponent and use your Delta Hurricanes to just blow up their field. But since one day of peace is at one, uh, you really can't do that, and you're not going to get those consistent draws of them. And with Sangin being banned, you cannot get your blue searches off. Um, you cannot combo off with your um, tour guide into Sangin. Uh, use one day of peace, ram Sangin into one of their monsters, and then um, just get blue next turn. Just set blue or uh, play another one day of peace and ram blue into, a, into one of their monsters and get a search off without you know you taking any damage so with that being gone with these two cards at using each other to combo each other off and with that being gone you can't really do anything uh, with an actual pure straight up Ojama build so what I've been actually thinking about doing is um, utilizing this card right here Junk Synchron now if you guys remembered back couple of months ago, maybe three months ago, I really don't remember, where I was running, um, where I actually showed you guys my Ojama Junk deck and um, how, you know, it actually worked. And uh, I think that deck, that deck can actually work for this format. It's really fast, it's really consistent, and it was using Ojamas as an engine and not uh, trying to win games with them, which I think we should start utilizing Ojamas for. Um, I think that these two cards right here are dead now, that you can't really do anything with these cards. Uh, this guy would just get va effect Vaylord really easily. Um, he can get Solemn Morning, even though Solemn Morning is at 1. He can still get crapped on, and people are starting to run uh, Huge Revolution and um, Starlight Road, so this card can get crapped on really easily. Uh, of course, you guys are going to go off game uh, game one, but after game two, once they know, oh, this guy is just going to go for the OTK all the time. So, uh, and then we just stop the red, and then we just stop the hurricane, and, uh, you know, they really can't do anything. And then uh, once they know that, uh, oh, you're going to go Delta Hurricane, I can't really do anything, but I have an MST, MST your country, what, what are you going to do now? Nothing. So, <laughs> you know, the... You can't really play the um, regular old Jamas anymore. So I'm going to move these guys out of the side. Uh, those two cards are bad. I'm taking officially taking them out until, you know, whenever they get good again. But um, like I said, I want to use Ojamas as an engine, using these guys as an engine, and then uh, using these two cards as your engine also. So essentially, what I'm trying to say is that Ojamas are floaters with uh, Ojama Country on the field. Once you get the blue in the graveyard and you get these two cards to your hand you essentially have an engine oops let me move this over here you essentially have an engine that can just consistently get you know recycle themselves over and over and over and over again because uh <clears throat> you're using these guys as your floaters and your uh dump targets for country and um you know you're getting monsters on the field you're getting a, a more uh fuel for your junk synchron so you can go into those rank sevens i mean those Crap, <laughs> Seeds are already kicking my ass now. <laughs> They're already taking over. You can go into those level 7 uh, Synchro Monsters. You can go into those level 5 Synchro Monsters. You can even go into that new Synchro Monster, the level 11 guy that uh, does, that's essentially a mini Quasar, which is pretty freaking good. Uh, you can actually consistently go into that guy really easily, which is pretty freaking awesome. And, um, that's what I'm trying to move on with this deck. I'm trying to actually utilize that. Now you guys might be saying, uh, Macrocosmos is going to be hell on earth. Uh, this card right here. Macrocosmos is going to destroy your deck. But I already have um, 
an actual solution for that. Um, if you remember back in my old deck, I think I was running two MSTs or three, I really don't remember. I was running two Rikos and two Lilas. So I really don't have to worry about Macro Cosmos so much. And the whole deck is not just built around uh, Junk Synchron. You can actually use cards like you know, Darius if you want to. You can actually use cards like uh, Chaos Sorcerer and um, Black Luster Soldier. So you can uh, you can actually you can actually use those um, you can actually use Light Pulsar Dragon in this deck. Uh, easy Light Pulsar Dragon. You can use Black Luster Soldier. And uh, that's what I'm trying to move towards. I'm trying to move into that uh, direction. And um, hopefully I can get a deck, uh, you know, uh, early stage deck out as quickly as possible. Uh, I do have several ideas. I'm going to take ideas from the old original uh, Ojama Junk deck. And uh, that's what I'm trying to move towards. I hope you guys... Um, uh, can understand what I'm trying to say here, but anyway guys tell me what you guys think about this Tell me what ideas that you guys would do with this deck um, with the to tell the truth once the new level 7 um, Ancient fairy dragon comes out the one that could pop crap left and right this deck is gonna be freaking good <laughs> It's gonna be uh, freaking good. You're gonna have a dark arm dragon for free essentially <laughs> So anyway guys tell me what you guys think about this deck. I really freaking enjoy it and uh yeah. Until next time, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.